This is a, a different video today. Um, we're just kind of out exploring the outside of this place here. It is the largest indoor water park in the United States. It's a 60,000 square foot water park, and it's actually only been closed for the past year. And we went out and just kind of explored along the exterior of this place. And it's, it's pretty cool. It is really big. But, um, things actually went bad really fast in that because we ended up walking while we parked down here on the street pretty much right at the edge beside the uh, back entrance here. Walked along the back so we could see the slides, of course. And, uh, well, things just went bad after we turned around we walked back. We walked all the way along the front. So, pretty much give you an idea on the size of this place. It is huge. But, we pretty much walked from right about here, all the way along here, to this end, and stopped. So we could at least see the view of the actual building. We turned around, started to walk back the opposite direction here. And as soon as I shut the camera off right here by the car, we had uh, the cops pull up behind us, but we'll explain that a bit in the video. Things went bad really quick, but luckily we got to go home, keep all our footage, at least kind of give you guys an idea on what's out there. Um, information on this place is uh it was actually bought last or this year actually in april it was purchased for 2.5 million dollars so it is supposed to be coming out really soon and back in action hopefully because it was just purchased very recently so it's still all the grass is really overgrown and um yeah it's it's a cool place for sure we didn't actually make it all the way around to this end because this whole thing right along the fence is nothing but thorns. It's really bad. I wouldn't try and go there. Um, but yeah, it is awesome. Just anytime you're driving, you'll see it coming on the freeway. But um, I will at least take you guys through. Let's see. A bit of these pictures here. It'll load for me here. The actual slides look like if you're coming on the freeway. That's the main entrance where we walk by. And the big, big tower of a hotel that's attached to the water park as well. You can just see the full scale of the building. It is really large inside sorry the picture quality on this is really bad but the inside of the actual main indoor water park there's a little better picture but it is huge and a big arcade bar a couple different restaurants and things in there it was actually a, a good place so come along with us see what we get to see get to see us get in trouble in the end but all in fun, all for you guys. Enjoy. What is going on, guys? We are here for a special one today. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear us very well. We're out here doing a little bit of exploring, kind of being sketchy, but we're out here exploring, getting under the lights here, just because we have something special for you guys today. You see that big, dark-ass building back there? Yeah, that's uh, the world's largest indoor water park in yeah. the United or in the United States, at least. Not the world. I'm not going to say that because I'm sure Japan's got us beat by a lot. But in the U.S., that's the largest water park, and it is completely abandoned. 
there is power on there so somebody's paying the electric bill but we're gonna get out there see if we can get a little inside information on this place today maybe even get inside it's what we really are hoping for but it's it's chained up pretty good from what we can tell but there are lights on it's completely abandoned there's still cars and all kinds of stuff there so pretty much the way things are gonna go is we're just gonna kind of explore around it give you guys a look around the building and uh, hopefully if not all goes well we'll try and find a way in but maybe not tonight if the support for the channel goes up we will definitely be back to try and find a way in if we can't find a way tonight um, it looks like there's nothing happening. I can't say anything about security cameras or any of that, but like I said, we're just gonna go kind of scout out the way tonight, see what might be out there. Me and Ginger, the Girafficon. Um, but again, sorry if you guys can't hear us very well, uh, but this is a really exciting one. I wish you guys could see it as well as we see it, but as we get closer to it, you're gonna see it just as well as we do. So stay tuned be ready for this the largest indoor water park <laughs> all right guys we are walking up on the uh, side site where they're actually doing construction beside of the park I'm sorry if it's really hard to hear us there is a fucking freeway right here but we are walking along the side here just kind of seeing what we can see along the edges because we're kind of looking sketchy with our flashlights out so we're trying to get back as far as we can and get out of the way so it may be a little difficult to hear us but we're just kind of getting an intel look I don't think we're gonna be able to get in today because this place just actually closed down in last year, okay. last year at the end of last year more or less and uh, they were shut down actually due to some issues with sanitary problems where their pumps in their pools were actually going out and uh, it ended up causing the place to get nasty water they got an F on their Better Business Bureau rating for last year all kinds of bad things have been happening with the place they've been getting sued so basically they just shut the place down the cops actually came through and shut the place down so we are kind of being a little sketchy out here but it is so cool look at that guys all the slides coming outside of the building just think this is an indoor water park that you can go to in the winter time and just hang out with your family <laughs> we are actually here today so i i'm really excited that we get to share this with you guys because this is so cool this is really so cool <laughs> We are being extra super sketchy though, out here. What? We are being extra super sketchy though. Yeah. I'm gonna shut off my light and we're gonna continue this walk. But look at that fucking slide view. Like, can you, can you all see any of that right there? It is so amazing. And you can see this from the freeway as, if you're driving around in Columbus. I see it every day from 270 and I've always wanted to come explore, but maybe one day we're going to get in. Right now we're just kind of checking out the situation. We are all the way around the front of the building now. Look at how beautiful this is. I'm sorry it's so dark out here and the lights are not doing this stuff justice. But this is so cool. So so cool and you see the power on right there. We're kind of sketched out on actually getting in there because of the power being on. We feel like there's still going to be security and things going in there. But it is very clear that there's power on in there. We want in so bad. We're going to try and find an entrance into this fence at least to try and walk around a little closer. I'm just really hoping there isn't motion detectors and stuff in here to get us in trouble because we don't need that today. But... Right now we're just going to kind of walk around for just the sake of the video. We want to get some more angles on it, but God, look at all those slides out there. It is so awesome. 
we're gonna go get some more views though. Being totally sketchy, but we're walking around the front of the building now just to see what is actually out here. It's so fucking dark, and I'm sorry, guys. I wish there was something I could do, but if we turned on this light out here, it wouldn't shine on that building anyway, and we would look super fucking sketchy. I'm trying not to be super fucking sketchy. Man, it's slowing down and being creepy around my car, bro. What are they doing? Can I help you, bro? That's creepy. Oh, wow. Looks like somebody drove into it, dude. Like, I wish you guys could see this, because it is, like, smashed in. Like, the whole fence is smashed. Like, somebody drove straight into the front. We'll come back through with the light on whenever we're ready to leave, but we just don't want to be sketchy right now. But we're like walking by the main entrance. There's that super fucking tall building right there. And I'm so sorry this shit is super dark. We tried to get here a little earlier, but plans didn't work out. But at least we're kind of here in the dark where no one's really driving around quite as much. There's still some sketchy ass people driving around. Are they down there by my car again? I think they are right by my car. I'm about to move my car down here, dude. There's the main view, guys. That's the main entrance for the actual place. Just kind of show you around there. We're being super sketchy, so we're going to walk back with the light on since we're already being sketchy. Look, there's a way in right there. Right at the very front door, dude. We already found a way in, so whenever people decide that they want to join us for this adventure, like, this place is super overgrown. Like, every inch of this property is just covered in weeds that are, like, half as tall as me. This place has been just completely abandoned and left to rot, basically. So we are really looking for people to actually join us to come in to do this, to get inside. We want to get in this building, but we do not want to do this by ourselves. That is the problem. We really don't want to do it alone. Yeah, this building is amazing, dude. I wish you guys could see it as well as we do. Like, it's so dark, though. It is so dark, and I'm so sorry. It's weird seeing the water slides in there, dude. Yeah, it is so weird. We're going to come back here in the day next time. That way we can get a really good day shot. And I'm going to try and throw a couple pictures or clips of the actual park before it shut down. You should try and pull some up on your phone, actually. Yeah. Why? I'm dead. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, well. It's all right. <laughs> but yeah, this place was a beautiful resort. I went here when I was younger and it was awesome. It was so much fun, but apparently they had a lot of issues. This is a creepy back entrance here. This is a construction area. We're gonna stop the video now because there's still cars driving around being weird. And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that today. Um, we didn't get to see a lot, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry it was super dark, but um, we will be trying to get back out there as soon as possible. Pretty much what happened, we walk back to the car, and of course, as soon as we sit down and start to move, cop pulls up, has to ask what we're doing, go through all our shit, and yeah, it kind of sucked, but I kind of got mad because uh, they didn't really have a reason to go through any of my stuff. I pretty much asked them why they're going through everything without me even saying, yes, you can do this. I just started going through everything, went through my glove box, all that stuff, and tried finding shit. We didn't have anything, we are just there looking at stuff. We didn't get in, we didn't do any of that stuff, we weren't trespassing, we walked on a sidewalk. So, luckily, they didn't do anything, we just went home. That's all it was, but...
we would like to have some more people like join us and go out there in the day sometime, maybe actually get permission to go in there and see what it's like without people in there, you know? It would be really cool just to explore. But if you guys like these videos, like, comment, leave, just subscribe, do anything like that. Definitely share with your friends so we can get more people interested in this. Maybe we can all get out and find some cool places together. Hit us up in the comments below if you're interested in joining us, if you're in the Columbus area. Um, but that's about it for today, guys. Thanks.